So we're going to calibrate our E steps on Ender 5 Plus. So to do this with a direct drive, we scaled up, and I already pre-did this, I scaled up 100 millimeters, or 10 centimeters, and 12 centimeters on this scale. And if you can see the two marks on there. So then when I do my feed, if the lower blue mark goes into the extruder, I am I know where I'm at. And if it's above the extruder, I know where I'm at. TH3D has a very, very nice tool they've built where you go through, you find your current E-step number, you put in what your actual measurement was, and then it will tell you what your new E-step is going to be. So what I'm using is I'm using Octoprint's terminal function to do this. So I'm going to clear it here. And then you type M503. And it's going to run a command here. And we're going to go down this list. And we're looking for the line that says M92. And we're looking for the very last one. And it says E93. So that is my current E-step programmed into my printer. So I go to temperature to make sure that I am, I'm at 200 degrees on the hot end. Now I go to control, I go to extrude here, I change this to 100, and I hit extrude. And it's going to extrude 100 millimeters. So I extruded, and so it didn't take a full 100. This is a little hard to see, but there's my two marks, and I already put my calipers on it, which is, oops, 6.89. Uh, we'll call it 6.8 difference. So according to my current, um, my, my E-step number is 93. So when I put in my actual, it's 93.2, but the software doesn't like the 0.2. So we're going to make it 93. We're going to round it down. So it means my new E-step value is 100, and my command is M92-E100. So now that we have our number, we're going to copy this here. We're going to go back to here. We're going to clear this. We're going to type, we're going to paste that number, that command in, hit enter, and it says okay. And then we're going to do an M500, and that stores the command. Then we're going to do an M503, and go down here, and we're looking again for our M92 line. And here it is, right here. And the very last number is E100 now. So it was E93, now it's E100. So we have increased our E-step to compensate for the feed. And now the thing to do is go through it again, mark them again, and run it, and see if you get the full feed. And here we go. If I did it right, that should stop right at the top, and it did. So we now have our E-step calibrated.